everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Minigames where again we're going to be playing some more hide and seek and why? Because there's new maps, new items, lots of crazy new stuff that's been added and look, look at my token value, look at my token value, I am in the money right now, I have got 5 100,032 tokens. Yes, thanks to the Hive guys um, for giving me that to show off the new features. So yeah, 500,000 tokens are ready to spend. That's half a million. That's pretty damn sweet. So yeah, let's go over to Hide and Seek. There's um, a couple new maps have been added and also some new items. So let's go and see Trioris's brother and see what we've got to buy. So you can see that there's a few more. We also have, I think, a, why my leaves have been taken off me, my leaves and my pumpkins, but anyway, I think we've got enough to replace them. But anyway, new blocks have been added. Melon, um, pumpkin, uh, bookshelf and leaves were already there, and redstone lamp as well. But what we also had was, um, what we've also had added is emerald, we've also had, um, what else is it, diamond, and we've also got iron. Now, can you see how many tokens these are? The tokens for iron is 20,000, which is pretty crazy. Emerald is 40,000. And diamond is 30,000, but you're pretty, I guess you're guaranteed not to be found, I'm not too sure. But, another really cool item that has been added is this bad boy. Look, seek a hotbar upgrade, see the blocks that are left in your hotbar. This upgrade activates in the last 30 seconds of each game. So, um, when you get to the last 30 seconds of the game, if you are a seeker, you will be able to see which blocks are left so you know what you're looking for pretty much. So if anyone is like a diamond or emerald block or even leaves which are pretty difficult to find anyway, you will know, which is really cool. Now I think I'm just going to go ahead and buy all these, what is that, 30,000? Um, it's a lot of money, it's a lot, so hopefully I can show off some of them. I'm at least going to buy this, so I bought that, um, that is 40 plus 30 is 70 and uh, yeah I'm just going to buy them all right now, let's just buy these. Buy these, and I've got 380,000 left. Damn. <laughs> Damn. I think that worked anyway. Uh, did it work? I'm not really sure. It doesn't really show you what you've got anymore. It doesn't show you the enchantments. That's a bit weird. But anyway, let's go ahead and choose a game. So what has also changed on the Hive is that when you go into a game, you don't get locked into a certain map anymore. You actually get to vote. So let's go into this voting here. And you'll see that there is a vote on there right now. And I want to vote too because Lotus is um, a new map. There's also a survival games map as well, which is, sounds crazy. I haven't played that one. I have played Lotus once. It looks really cool. So I just wanted to record it straight away with all this new stuff. And if you're asking where the block selector is, um, you actually need to wait until 30 seconds till the vote is um, complete. And when it gets down to 30 seconds, you will be able to select your block. So here we go. Can we select a block? Hey, I want to. Hey, I, I, I want to. I want to select my block, please. Is it thirty seconds or is it twenty? I can't really remember. Is anyone voted? Come on, that. Yeah, there we go. We've got it. Twenty seconds. Lotus has won. Yes, and we have all this amazing stuff. So it did save my ones from before. I think I'm gonna be. Um, I'm gonna be a bookshelf. Let's be a bookshelf for now. I'm not hundred percent sure what's going to um, what's gonna be good on this, but let's let's find out and see what's happening. <laughs> let's see what let's see what finds out. So I'm gonna kind of run around here a little bit just to show you the map. It's kind of based off a ship. Look, you can go over to there as well. There is water, but it's not deep. It's like one block deep, which is really clever. But it's see through at the bottom. Pretty freaky, but I'll show you um, what that means. It's kind of like I guess it's kind of like a house with a boat. So it's a guy that is very rich and has a house, which is really awesome. So there's lots of hiding places. There is another boat here. So I guess it's actually maybe more of a shipyard, which is kind of cool. So yeah, that is the Lotus map. Let's look around a bit more. There's loads of hiding places. Um, I just remember we're a bookshelf. This could be a good place over here. This could be a good place. Yes. Yes, I'm feeling good about this. <laughs> yes. I'm going to take a sip of tea in my, my Adventure Time mug. I don't know if you can see that. Look at that. It's beautiful. Ah, it's my Minecraft fuel. And let's do this. I'm feeling good about this place already. This spot. I will show more of the map later if I do become a seeker and stuff. Hopefully we can show off that book, which is really cool. And then we'll start using the diamond blocks and stuff like that to see how much of an advantage it actually gives. Which, it could be pretty crazy, I think. You don't expect anyone to be a diamond block. Um, I really should have checked if I already had the tokens available to um, spend on the stuff, I guess, if you know what I mean. If I'd already didn't need to buy the, uh, the new blocks. But anyway... That's all done now. I spent them, and it's time to get going on this. Here comes the seeker. Oh god, maybe not. Maybe not. He's just beyond there. You can see him right there. Daniel Loki. Don't do it. 
Don't do it. <laughs> Don't, I swear, I swear if you do it. Okay, it's fine, he's walking away. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. I think I've just spotted a really good place over there. It could be even better than this one right here, but I'm not sure. I don't know whether to go and check it out or not. Um, there's, there's a few more Seekers now. There's eight Seekers. Um, oh, God. is that, that could be just like a gap all the way down as well. I'm not really sure. Oh, God. The decisions. Do I risk it? I don't think I'm going to because there's like Seekers up there. There's a couple of Seekers there. The Seeker there. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think I'm just going to stay where I am. We've only got a minute left. And at like 10 seconds, I'll go over and run there and see what's going on. There's a there's a bookshelf up there. Just been slaughtered. I think he wants to be a seeker. <laughs> I kind of want to be a seeker as well, to be honest. Um, yeah, join Team TDM today. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Do it. No one's really even come in this room, to be honest. No one's even set foot in this room apart from that guy that kind of went right down there. So I don't know if I'm going to... Um, I'm going to be found, to be honest. This is a really good place as well, really inconspicuous. That's probably a good place there and a place there for a bookshelf. I found some really good bookshelf places. Oh, we've got six seconds left. Let me just quickly show you where I was talking about. Um, yeah, this is actually a really good place. Wow. Yes, we win. The bookshelf wins. That was Lotus. And I kind of want to be a seeker now. So I might go onto a new map and play seeker. So I'll see you in a second. Right then, in comes the vote. I kind of want to uh, vote one. Just because I kind of want to try it out, but um, I might try and be a seeker. I'm not too sure. If it's Lotus again, then I will be a seeker, but loads of people are asking for Lotus. Because um, it's a brand new map. It's a brand new map, and survival games is kind of a map people have seen before because they played it in survival games. But other than that, Lotus seems to be the most popular map so far with the voting system. We've got Lotus on six rows. It looks like he's going to, so I think I might just be a seeker on this one. If I'm not a seeker straight away. Um, and yeah, let's see how it goes. Let's try and select a block anyway. And if I'm a block, I'm going to be my diamond block. I'm going to be a diamond block and see how this goes. This is going to be crazy. This is awesome. We are in the riches right now. Rich, rich, rich. Hide and seek. Let's go. Okay, I'm not a seeker, but I am a diamond block. So as you can see, they kind of look like beacon blocks at the moment. Um, I'm not really sure where I could go. I'm going to try and look at the ships to show you the maps a little bit more. See if that works. Oh, there we go. Um, this is the first ship and they all have kind of an inside as well, which is really cool. So let's see if we can um, see it without the Seekers getting to us. So I'm going to try and just not hide this time. I know it's not the point of the game, but I want to kind of show off the map and stuff like that. So there, there's an inside, there's bookshelves absolutely everywhere. Kind of reminds me of space where you've got all the little cubby holes. Um, I'll show you the water as well, which is really clever. Look at this. It looks like you can go down, but you actually can't. I'm pressing shift and everything. You can't actually go down. It's just a one... I don't even know how they've done that. It's kind of like a see-through floor. Really cool. Yeah, let's go and have a look at the other ships. It looks like loads of people go over here straight away, <laughs> to be honest. So let's go over here. Check out what's going on with this ship. Hopefully not many people will try and find me because... What's going on here? You're an ice block, sir. It's changed to ice. It's probably because it's in a snow biome. But, um, yeah, let's find out what these ships are saying so I can kind of see the map for myself as well. So there's, like, carpeted places. That's obviously... Is that a hider? Who knows? But anyway, let's have a look at this. We've got bookshelf spaces. Bookshelf seems to be a really good one to be on this map. We've got furnaces, little taps and stuff. These ships are rocking it. They're really cool. <laughs> there's an upstairs as well. Let's go around here and see what's going down. We've got a bookshelf. Um, we've also got... Nice places for everything to hide. This looks like a really well-balanced map. It's really cool. Nice little sunbed there. Look at that. And, oh, there's a place over there. Oh, crap. There's a seeker. Um, oh, I, I don't really mind if I get hit, but I will put up a fight and see if we can kind of destroy them. Where should we go next? I kind of want to go over there. Let's go over here. <laughs> it's really weird how shallow this water is. It's really cool, though. You can kind of see all the way down. They built down, but I don't think... Oh, God. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I don't know if they're going to follow me though because I'm a diamond block. Let's go in here. See if we can see any more of the map. Oh, the Seekers everywhere. There way. I might be able to blend in with these. Um. 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 Wow. Uh, <laughs> that was a bit close. I didn't, I probably didn't need to hit him. I could have just gone straight past him. Um, I think I'm safe now. That was a getaway and a half. Look at... Oh, God, there's people there. That's why. That's why I saw Seeker names. 
It's okay. So there's loads and loads of rooms to this. It looks like there's a garden as well. There is. You can actually go into it. There's a tree. A melon tree, in fact. What else is down here? Oh, there's a secret. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I think I might be able to just not hide this whole game and still not get destroyed. No one suspects the diamond block, but it looks really cool. Overall, I really like the look of this map and I like all of the hiding places as well. It's really cool. I like it a lot. So let's... Have we, have we been in here? We've been in this ship. I think we've been in that ship and... No, 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 no. Back off. Back off. Oh, it's him all the way down. I'm off. This could be an amazing game if I can survive all this. I've got two minutes left. Um, let's try not to get found. Oh, God. No, this is not going to go well, is it? I'm going to go around here. This could be the death of me. Sit back in. No, 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 no. That was bad. Why did I go in there? Ah! <laughs> oh, well, we can be a seeker and we can try out this brand new book that we've been given. That is something that I'm really interested to see because you can see who they who have been... Um, Picking the blocks as, which is really cool. Really cool. So, uh, 12 seekers left. Um, no, 12 seekers are seeking, and there's nine hiders left. Um, I'm gonna go on the ships because I think the ships are very popular to go on. So, let's do that for starters. Um, over here, I think the other ship is more. Oh, here we go. Look, 30, uh, it doesn't. Oh, wow. I swear it said 30 seconds, but it looks like it's working for about 80 seconds. There's three furnaces, there's two bookshelves, one anvil, and one beacon. That is so cool. That seriously is awesome. Gives you a nice little advantage, but not too much of an advantage that it's like overpowered. It's really cool. I like that a lot. I do. Right. Furnaces. I'm looking for anvils, furnaces, some bookshelves. Um, what else am I looking for? I think, I don't think anything's off in here, to be honest. No, it looks fine. I'm going to go on that other ship because I think there was a couple of weird looking ones or out of place looking ones over there. So let's do that. Let's quickly just jump through over the water and see if we can find them. Right, there's people going down. There's only one bookshelf left now, which is over there. So you get them. You get him. <laughs> so we're looking for two furnaces, one anvil, and one beacon, which is cool. Um, that beacon looks like it's real, sir. It looks like it's okay. Um, I don't know. I don't know where to look now. There's um. Oh, there's no beacon. Oh no, wait. What's what just disappeared? Oh, the the um the bookshelf. There is two furnaces still remaining, though. I think they could be upstairs. I don't think there's any... What about this guy? No, it's not that guy either. We're going to have to go back quickly. There's... Ah, oh, two seconds. No, they win. They win. There he is. Little punk. But anyway, that is really cool. I think I've showed off all the features so far. So now we're going to go into another game and see if we can get survival games because I'd really like to show that off. It looks like... Um, it really does look like... The Lotus map is the most popular. So let's find one that's restarting and I'll see if I can get it. Right then, we're in another game. Hopefully, hopefully they have chosen survival games. I tried to get them to do it so that they, I can do a video on it. It looks like we're good. Yes, survival games. Thanks, guys. And now we're going to pick our block. So what should we be? You can be uh, fences, stairs, bookshelves, pistons and furnaces. I think I'm going to be a furnace. Let's be a furnace. Yes. <laughs> so we're going to be a furnace on the brand new survival games map. I don't really mind if I get um, found because I want to show off the map to you guys if you want to come and find it. And I am the... <laughs> so this is the survival games 2 map, I believe, converted into a hide and seek map. So it could be very interesting, but also could be very, very hard. So we're going to show this off. And in nine seconds, we'll be unleashed. At least we know what blocks can um, be found. So let's have a look. It might be, thinking about that book thing, it might be after 30 seconds rather than with 30 seconds left. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And people are going to kill me, aren't they? They're going to kill me. They're going to kill me. They're going to kill me. I'm on a rampage. Yes. 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 Die. 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 Yes. I killed like three people already. That's awesome. So <laughs> people tried to kill me, but they can't. Oh, yes. 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 Goodness. I swear I saw some stairs in here. I did. I did. I saw them. I saw them. I saw a furnace as well. They're going to try and kill me. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> this is crazy already. There's already four seekers. Wow. Um, wow, that was pretty intense. So yeah, this looks like it could be a huge map. Indeed. There's so many levels to each house. I need to regen some health or I will get killed. <laughs> Damn it. Um, five seekers already and wow. Um, oh god, this looks like a very difficult map. Look at this. There's just stuff everywhere. We need to kind of look for the ones that are missing, I guess. 
I don't know whether the pistons will be faced up if you're a hider. But look at all this stuff. There's loads. These are pretty much all of the blocks that you can be. Oh man, at least we're going to be able to find out soon how um, how many of each block are available. I think you can only be like wooden items, so that should be fine. But still, look how many wooden items are in here. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm going to try and go outside and see if I can see anyone running around. And then we can just pick them off and then we should be good. But look at this map. It's so impressive. It's huge. This is going to take a long time to try and kill people. We've got um, 12 hiders to find. And yeah, look at this. It could be a map in itself. Just this room. Oh, God. Oh, there's a piston. There's a piston. There's a piston. Get him. Let's get him. Let's get him. Oh, I got him. Yes. I <laughs> got some more tokens. I definitely need some more tokens. I'm running out a little bit. <laughs> Nut, nut. So I didn't see whether that guy was going to go solid and turn upwards. So you can kind of tell maybe if the pistons are a person. I'm not sure though. Let's see if there's anyone up here. Nobody, nobody in there. I don't think. I don't think you can be anything stone related, which is cool. Anyone around? Huh? Anyone want to show their face? Anyone want to show their face and show me who they are? I don't think there's anyone in here. Let's see what else is on the map. I just want to show the map for a little bit as well, rather than kind of play the game. We've kind of killed like five people already, so that's not too bad. Let's go. I don't know how big the map is. It looks like it kind of it's cut off there, so you can't go through there. Okay, it's not as big as I thought it was. It looks like you can get in just this building here and that building there. So that's fine. That's not too bad, but still... Multiple layers of everything. <laughs> There's three three fences and one stair left. So the fences should be pretty easy to find. They shouldn't be too bad, should they? Let, let's go. Fences, we're going to destroy you. We're going to destroy you. So it doesn't look like it has to wait 30 seconds. I'm not sure how long you need to wait for those blocks to come up. But anyway, I'm not complaining. It's easier to find people. Um, There's no... There's literally no fences up here so we're going to go back down into the bigger area and see if we can find them and this has been a pretty successful um hide and seek episode i mean we've done we've been we bought all the new stuff because of our bulging wallets and stuff and yeah we've got these new new items these really cool new maps and things are looking good let's go and find these fences also looking out for ones which don't have torches um is this one are you a fence? You are a fence, but you're not a person. Oh, God. There's still two fences out there. Where are they? Where are the fences? Oh, it's going to be really hard. There's, like, underground kind of, like, below-level stuff as well. Oh, my words. That's a good place to hide if you are a fence, though, if there's, like, one sticking out of the ground. Where are these fences? <laughs> Show yourself. Show yourself, fence. There's only one fence left now. Um, we've got 40 seconds. It's still doable. One fence, one stair. The stair is going to be the hardest one to find, I think, because it's, it's just going to be, ah, oh, it's, it's just a lot easier to blend in as a stair. Where is this, where is this fence post? It's really bugging me. And he's kind of making an error. Oh, I don't know. We're almost done it. It's really close. Considering the size of the map, uh, it's actually not too bad. Not too bad at all. Oh, I don't think we're going to get it. I don't think we're going to get it. We've got seven seconds. Our last rush to try and get someone. Is there anyone around here? Oh, I forgot that there's like this extra bit around here. And the hiders win. GG hiders. And that will be it for today's episode. So if you are a hardcore Hive fan, then I highly suggest trying out the new items. Let's go over them quickly again. They are the brand new Seeker Hotbar upgrade, which is seriously awesome. I like that a lot. It's 30,000 tokens. It's kind of a lot, but um, at least you've seen how it works. We've got the emerald block, diamond block, and iron block, which raise from 20,000 to 40,000 tokens as well. So you need to get playing the hive, guys, so that you can actually get these amazing items. But if not, I hope I've showed them off completely. And you obviously don't need tokens to go and play the new maps. So go ahead, play the new maps. Um, Lotus and Hunger Games are really popular right now, so go and check those out. They're really well built. And that is going to be it for another awesome Hide and Seek episode. So if you did enjoy this video and want to see some more Hide and Seek, because it's getting really interesting with all these new items and stuff, then please do hit that like button. Let's see if we can hit, uh, I don't know, 2,500 likes this time. Yeah, let's do 2,500 likes. 
And if I get that, then I'll do another hide and seek episode next weekend and I'll carry on doing them. So this Pac-Man parkour is awesome, by the way. It's still here. Definitely go and try it out. Go and check out the um, server IP in the description below as well. It's the Hive MC. Um, I think it's hive.mc. It's really cool though, or hivemc.eu. I've typed it in so many times, I, I can't believe I've forgotten it. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching, guys. If that happens to be the first video that you've seen by me, then please do hit that subscribe button for daily Minecraft videos. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye! <laughs>